quite a clever Reddit user has found what might just be a hint at a liquid cooled Vega, as well as another interesting thing. Plus, let's talk about this new worm. I might be doing a new giveaway and more. So stay tuned. Welcome back to Gamer Meld. A Reddit user who goes by 8 bits and a byte, and might I add, awesome name, found a few really interesting lines of code in an AMD Linux driver update. Now, before I get into it, I certainly want to say this could be absolutely nothing, or possibly something they're working on besides Vega, or even, as 8 bits and a byte suggested, remnants of older GPU code. Now, while that's doubtful, and it very well might mean exactly what it seems to mean, it's just good to keep it in mind. So what did the user find? Well, this, as you can see, that certainly sounds like we really could be looking at a liquid cooled Vega, similar to the Fury X. This actually goes with earlier rumors, but I was pretty hesitant about those because the reasoning that led to their conclusion didn't seem too substantial. Either way, this is certainly interesting, and he also points out that it's similar to the Fury X code that controls the temperature sensors and fan controller for the water cooling. So this really could mean Vega will be water cooled or at least have a water cooled variant. But that's not all. He also found this. As you can see, it discusses PLX thermal code. PLX is a chip company that focuses on interconnecting parts of computer systems, specifically PCI Express. So, 8 bits and a byte seems to rightfully state that the presence of the thermal management in the code for AMD's PLX could mean a dual GPU board. Once again though, it could just be remnant code. We can't be sure. But what does this mean for gaming? Well, when it comes to gaming at least, many aren't too enthusiastic about a dual GPU. Especially since it seems both AMD and Nvidia are adamant about getting away from multi-core GPU with their departure of triple or quad channel SLI and Crossfire. Personally, I think dual has always seemed to show the best of the tech, while the scaling drastically reduces the more cards you add. The biggest issue is the lack of widespread support from game developers since the potential performance is very widely from game to game, and there seems to be tons of issues with crashes and just problems in general. One thing some commenters discussed was the possibility of them being linked by the Infinity Fabric. For those who don't know, the Infinity Fabric is essentially the link between the CCX modules and Ryzen that allow it to scale up to more cores, well, quite easily to be honest, by adding more CCX modules. I personally don't think so for a couple reasons. First, since I'm pretty sure it's an AMD technology, and second, I'm really just not sure if it'd be fast enough to manage the interconnect without Crossfire. Either way, just for fun, how cool would that be? Possibly even the ability for both chips to read off each other's memory, which instead of just copying the data of both an SLI and Crossfire, you'd actually have twice the memory. Plus, and of course this is the biggest, it would essentially look like a single GPU with double the core count, essentially eliminating the compatibility and scaling issues that plague Crossfire and SLI. Now, I definitely don't want to get anyone's hopes up here. I really don't think it would be in this generation of GPUs, and I just... I don't know, I think we would have heard a ton about it, as well as seeing AMD show off Vega far more. But who knows for sure? It's certainly an interesting proposition. The next story for today is the ransomware WannaCry. For those who don't know, ransomware essentially infects your computer and encrypts everything, forcing you to pay, in this case, $300 to get the key to unencrypt your files. The WannaCry virus is a worm, so it's able to replicate itself across networks instead of requiring it to be transferred. Microsoft actually issued a patch in March, but many companies don't immediately use patches, so unfortunately, this is spreading all over the globe. From organizations to even hospitals, it's gotten to a point where they're literally having to turn away patients. For anyone who hasn't updated their computers recently, please do so immediately. Windows has even issued a patch for XP and Server 2003, to which I definitely applaud them for, because many businesses aren't able to update due to things like heavily modified software or some older program that won't work on newer systems, etc. So this is definitely a reminder to have backups of important information and to always keep your system up to date. Next up today are a few deals. It's actually not live yet, but is definitely something to mark your calendars for. Major Nelson announced on Twitter that Xbox will be having a huge backwards compatibility sale starting May 16th. Only four specific games were mentioned, but over 275 titles will be going on sale. That's this Tuesday, so make sure to watch out for those deals. Next up, I wanted to announce something I'm wanting to do. Many of you know about my last giveaway, which everyone has gotten their card, but one who I've got to email again soon before giving it to someone else. Either way, I'm going to be doing a giveaway when I get to 5,000 Twitter followers. So if you'd like to see that, make sure to head on over to Twitter and once again, 
when I get to that 5,000, I'll be doing a whole new giveaway. I'm not sure what it'll be, but I'll make sure it's worth it. Lastly, let me know what you thought about this format. If you prefer just the slides, let me know. That's fine. Now, I won't be able to do it all the time because it takes a good bit more time, but I can certainly do it more often. Let me know that as well as what you thought of today's topics in the comments below. Lastly, don't forget that I have a Patreon. It really helps me out. For as little as $2 a month, you can get some really cool rewards. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.